Hey, Northridge Nation, check out what we've got here. We've got the newest mod for the Giveaway Gladiator, and that's a Rome rooftop tent. I got Mr. FedEx delivery driver here, and he's gonna have me sign for it. But before I sign, I'm gonna take a good look at this box. We wanna make sure there's no damage, no visible damage to the outside of the box. The rooftop tent is an investment, and it is a big box, it's heavy, so it could get damaged in shipping, and if you don't have your delivery driver make note of any damages, it can be really tough for file, to file for a claim. Yes, that's definitely, if we notice something right away, we'd be able to take it back instead of you having to call and get us to come back out to grab it for you. All right, so what do I got to sign here? This right here. Great. All right, hey, thank, thank you. you. All right, and speaking about keeping the box in good shape and making sure the tent inside is in good shape, don't just grab a utility knife and start slicing and dicing when it comes time to opening the box. Use a blunt object, so like a car key or maybe a flat blade screwdriver, or I use this little trim tool here. It's got rounded edges, it lets you move right into the tape and, oh hey, and slice right through it, no problem. You can control your depth so you don't get into the tent and We'll keep everything in good shape. So be careful opening the box, but now let's get the box open and see what's inside of it. First up, we've got the cover. And then we've got the annex. Here's our hardware bag. This is what we're looking for. Here's our window stakes. The ladder. That's the floor for the annex. We've got our boot bags. This is the gear hammock. And the annex bag. And the mounting rails. There's two of them. So the brackets go in with the point towards the center of the tent. Feed our bolts down in. Reach up in and put our nut on. Now you don't want them tight, you want them to be able to move around a little bit. Okay, so then we have our hardware to go in. And you're gonna use the bolt, metal washer. On the inside, we're gonna put the plastic washer. Then the ladder, and then our nylock nut. Now you notice we have the ladder setting here with the buttons facing up. And we're going to snug these up. You want to get them tight, but you don't want them so tight that you can't pivot the ladder. Just 
just check that to see how that pivots. Maybe snug it up just a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's nice. Little bit of resistance. Now we can tighten the bracket bolts the rest of the way. Then take your ladder, slide it down, and anchor it with the Velcro. For the boot bags, turn the logo out. And on the top here, you have this corded edge. And we're gonna slide it right inside this channel. And then flip it up and out of the way. Same for the other side. Then our gear hammock. And we'll just clip it to these D-ring clips. Make sure your tent, all the fabric is all tucked in the best you can. And use the Velcro ties to tighten it down again. So now we're gonna grab our cover and open that up. And you see this zipper here, unzip it. We wanna start with the zipper end. Here's the hinge. This is the center point of the tent. And you just wanna slide it in Again, we have a corded edge, and we're gonna slide it right in this opening and just work our way all the way down. And now we can feed into the next side. And just keep working your way around. And you should have about the same amount of overhang at the end as you do on the other side. So we can now take the cover and you wanna hold it so that logo is away from you. Flip it up onto the tent. Pulling the cover down. Now we can find the starting edge of the zipper on the main cover. Insert into the zipper. And zip it up. And then we can grab our tie straps and we're gonna thread them through the buckles. So there you have it. The Rome tent is assembled and ready to go up on top of that Road Armor Trek rack on the Giveaway Gladiator. And I guess you could ask, why doesn't the tent come completely assembled? All you have to do is put it up and install it. Well, that's a question that only the people at Rome could answer but I'll throw this thought in your head. The nice thing about doing some assembly is you're gonna see the hardware that will tend to loosen up as you go up and down those gravel roads, those bumpy roads, and uh, all that vibration could possibly loosen them up. Now you know which ones they are and you know how to tighten them up. So stay on it. Now with this ready to go up on the rack, I just need some help to get it up there. So uh, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. All right, if we take a look at our tent mounting hardware, we have eight of these channels with the bolts in them, and they're gonna slide up inside that mounting rail. And then this is the clamping bracket that's gonna come up from underneath and just hold it in and you run the nuts in, tighten it down, and you're good to go. So let's put the first couple up. Our mounting rails, don't line up with the center rails for our Road Armor Trek Rack. And we are out of adjustment. We can move these Trek mounting bars further inboard, but not outboard. So now we gotta decide how we're gonna make it work. And this is often the problem when you have part A, part B, sometimes they don't always go together. So we could tear the tent apart and just move these rails inboard 
we'd have to get in there and pull, open the tent up, pull the mattress out to be able to re-drill the hole so we can move the rails inboard. But I think what we could do would be the easiest, would be just to move these out. We could just re-drill the holes, the mounting holes for them, and just move these out enough that they line up. So let's get this centered up and we'll move those rails. So first thing we need to do is center the tent up, six and a quarter. All right, we've got those rails on the trek rack moved outboard, lined them up with the mounting brackets. Everything is now bolted in. This tent is solid. So let's get it outside, open it up, see what it looks like. <laughs> That's pretty close. 